hi cuties welcome back to my channel my name is camille and on my channel we talk about beauty through luxury makeup fashion and fragrances today i have a top floral fragrances video for you guys and i got this idea from mandy glam here on youtube hi mandy and uh yeah i want to talk about my top fragrances that are floral because I am a total floral lover. Um, my favorite scents are floral and oriental. So florientals are my jam. Um, I love a good fragrance with amber. Um, give me some tuberose. Give me gardenia. Give me magnolia. Give me jasmine. Give me jasmine sunback. Orange blossom. Um, Lily of the Valley, I love Peony, Carnation, um, I love florals, so, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's just kind of hop into, uh, my top floral fragrances. Uh, the first fragrance that I have for you guys is Oscar by Oscar de la Renta. Oh, I have the bottle backwards. Um, yeah, this is Oscar by Oscar de la Renta. And uh, this is a spicy floral. Um, this scent is very beautiful. Um, it's definitely on the um, it's on the vintagey, more mature side. I think this came out in uh, the seventies. Um, this is the eau de toilette version, so it's a little bit lighter than the eau de parfum. And the eau de parfum has like a different um, shape to it. Uh, to the bottle. Um, I have the fragrance uh, pulled up here. One second. I'm, I'm looking for, oh yeah, it was launched in 1997. So this definitely has that, um, that old school vintage feel, which I don't mind in my fragrances sometimes, especially in the fall time. Uh, this would be great, beautiful in the fall. Um, yeah, and there's a lot of notes in this as well. It doesn't last uh, too long, but it has like, it has a good like four hours out of it. So um, like if you were to like go for a work day or something, I would say just like take, um, take a, a sample of it and put it in your purse. So you can like re-up if you want to, if you want the fragrance to last a little bit longer. That's what I would do anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, there is a lot of notes in this fragrance. So um, in the opening, we have clove, gardenia, um, coriander, orange blossom, basil, peach, and bergamot. I love bergamot and fragrances as well. It's um, it's a very beautiful citrus scent, one of my favorites. Um, although, um, all those citrus scents are a little bit, um, they're okay, but they wouldn't be like considered my favorite, but I do appreciate when bergamot is uh, present in the top of a fragrance. It gives it like a, a nice bright and sparkly feel in the, um, in the opening, really fresh, love that. Um, yeah, so in the, uh, heart, we have tuberose, ylang ylang, lavender, iris, jasmine, rosemary, rose, and orchid. And in the base, we have clove, myrrh, sandalwood, lavender, amber, apoponax, vetiver, musk, patchouli, and coconut. So that was a very long list of uh, notes, but as you can see, there were a lot of florals in it. So um, yes, this smells like a garden and it smells very luxe. And wh from what I do smell, and um, yeah, I like this. Next up, we have Lotusy. Eau de Toilette by Issey Miyake. And this was mentioned in my top five floral fragrances or top five spring fragrances for 2021. 
And yeah, I love this scent. Even though it's an eau de toilette, it lasts so long on my skin, on my clothes. I can spray this like um, when I'm going, like when I was going to the office, um, I would spray this in the morning and it would last all day, like well over into like 5 and 6 p.m. Because like after work, I would like, you know, go to run errands and stuff. And it's like 6 or 7, go pick up food, go pick up dinner for the night. And this fragrance, what I would still get compliments on it. Like, wow. And it's an eau de toilette. This is my second or third bottle i believe it's my third because i got the i got the one fluid ounce first and then i got the three fluid ounce and then um when i went back to the store to <laughs> to get this um they only had the one fluid ounce um available so in the opening of this fragrance we have lotus melon freesia rose water rose cologne cyclamen and in the heart we have lily of the valley lily water peony carnation and in the base notes we have musk tuberose exotic woods osmanthus cedar sandalwood and amber this also has um a lot of notes as well this is definitely like a a very good spring summer scent um it's very it's all it also has like a an oceanic aquatic feel to it as well so uh and i think that is where the water peony like really shines through in the heart of the fragrance because it does have that kind of um oceanic beachy kind of feel which is also why it's great for spring and summer as well and you can over spray this um it's a very soft scent as well like i would say that it really projects during like the first three hours and then after that it kind of dies down and becomes a little bit more softer and a little bit more um closer to you which um, I don't mind because it lasts so long. Like this lasts forever and ever on your clothes. And it's a really good, pleasant, like no burner kind of scent. To, um, yeah, I really love this. <laughs> Next up, we have Florence by Taka. And a lot of people really don't mention the the brand uh taka or talk about their floor uh their their uh line of fragrances um this is an eau de parfum and this like you get pear right away this smells so luxurious this is a really strong fragrance and i often will mix uh these two together to get more of a get more of a floral scent especially in the spring and summertime i love these together um <laughs> sometimes i can tell um i can tell when i'm wearing this because bees will kind of like follow me because they think i'm like a flower or something <laughs> it's it's really cute but um kind of annoying as well because i don't want to get stung but yeah these are <laughs> these are um two really good combinations to to mix together anyway this smells uh really sophisticated it's strong it's beautiful it's it's like a bouquet um i really get like uh i really get pear and tuberose from this um so let's read off the notes in the opening we have pear apple bergamot grapefruit leaf in the heart we have gardenia tuberose jasmine violet leaf iris and in the base we have musk and white woods so this is definitely like a a fruity white floral kind of scent i would say 
um, I really get the get the pear and the tuberose, and it's just it's a lovely scent. I will I will say that um, if if you don't like florals, um, don't pick this up because it's like a it's like a, a expensive like white bouquet of florals kind of scent. So <laughs> love that. Next up, we have none other than Chanel Number no. Five, the Queen of Queens. This came out in 1921, so this fragrance has been out for 100 years. Wow! And this is the first year that I've owned this fragrance. So, absolutely, the gold juice, the classic bottle. I love the CC logo um, on the neck of the fragrance right there. This this is a this is definitely like a woody white floral scent. Um, I know there's some vanilla in here. I know there's probably like tuberose or neroli or something like that in the fragrance. And I believe there's amber and patchouli. Um, not the biggest fan of patchouli, but that's a, that's another story for another day um in the top notes or in the opening we have aldehyde ylang ylang neroli bergamot peach in the heart we have iris jasmine rose lily of the valley and the dry down we have sandalwood vanilla oak moss vetiver and patchouli um what really what really sticks out to me um is the neroli the jasmine the sandalwood and the vanilla the sandalwood in this is very creamy um and the vanilla also adds that creamy touch in the dry, in the dry down um I really pick up on the iris, which gives it that powdery feel that this is so icon. Like this is known for like its powdery floral smell in my opinion. And I absolutely love it. Like you can tell when someone is wearing Chanel number no. five because it, it has that like very, very distinct vibe to it. Yeah, that distinct smell. And the iris, it really gives it that beautiful powdery, that powdery note to it. It's it's so beautiful. Um, I, when I was younger, I did smell this, and I didn't understand why <laughs> why women were like so drawn to this. But now, as I'm getting older, and my palate is refining and like maturing. I really do have a love for this fragrance. Um, when I run out of this, I do want to invest in the full bottle, the 3.3 uh, fluid ounces, because this is just something that I think I will always wear. Um, this this is very elegant. It's very sophisticated. It's very feminine, and like I can I can just see myself like getting all dressed up and dolled up to go to like a gala or like a really formal event and wearing this and it just like really topping off the, the whole aesthetic like perfectly and that's like completely my jam I love to get like all glammed up and uh, dolled up I love it um yeah so uh this is Chanel number five the iconic and yeah I will be, I don't have a lot of Chanel fragrances in my collection. Um, I smelled like Chants before and it just, it wasn't really my jam. So, and I'm like, before, like I, I'd also smell Chanel number no. five and it, it didn't really um, speak to me at the time, but I just decided to, to just pick her up and I kind of like, have a new grown appreciation for Chanel number no. five. So, um, this is a great fragrance. Next up, we have Terry Mugler's Alien, the classic. This is 
a very polarizing, very strong, very bold jasmine scent. I get jasmine and amber, definitely. This smells very luxe and very bold and you smell rich and you smell a little bit cold and standoffish, a little bit distant, like, oh, I, oh, I'm so, I'm so rich, darling. Don't come to me. Don't touch me, darling. Like that, like that kind of aura. That's what this gives me. Like you can't sit with us. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, she is that girl. Um, yeah, in the in the heart. In the opening, we get jasmine. In the middle, we get some woody notes, probably like some cedar and sandalwood. And in the base, you get amber. And that those are the three notes that are listed for uh, this fragrance on Fragrantica. However, um, I do pick up on tuberose in the scent as well. And like, <laughs> if you guys can't already tell, I love tuberose, I love neroli. Um, those are like the white florals, absolutely. Any kind of floral, honestly. But yeah, this is like probably my second bottle. And I can't get enough of this fragrance. I I will wear something like this year round because I really love a strong present scent. Like I want you to smell me before you see me when I come into a room. Like you're gonna smell me like walking through the door. Like that's how <laughs> That's how I want to come off. Um, and I want to smell myself, <laughs> honestly. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is a beautiful fragrance to me. They say you're either an alien girl or an angel girl. I'm totally an alien girl. This is dark. This is sophisticated. This is cold, like I said. She's wearing all black with red lipstick and she's in Louboutins like she's this kind of girl <laughs> definitely and our last fragrance that we have is YSL Weeb this is your bougie rich aunt who has her own business she has five sugar daddies that are supporting her lifestyle and all of them are paying her bills for her. She has not a care in the world. She's jet setting. She's traveling all across the world. She's yachting in the Bahamas. She is traipsing through the cobblestone streets in Italy in her high heels. She is getting down and dancing and partying in Tokyo. Like that's, the, this is the kind of woman I see <laughs> wearing this kind of fragrance, like just living her best life. And she's all about her coin. She's always getting to the bag. She loves nice things. Like look at this bottle, the gold juice, the YSL emblem that's like, nailed to this and it's like it's solid the the neck of the fragrance how it has the, this like this gold brocade band and the top is just like the cap it's just this is a very very beautiful fragrance and this is another like white floral jasmine orange blossom kind of scent and there's a lot of lavender in this scent as well this is the biggest bottle the five ounce i discovered this scent in um 2019 through one of sephora's uh sampler kits so i think it was like the one where you sample to get the travel size uh fragrance for free and I got the travel size, ran through that really quickly. So I got the 1.7 fluid ounce and <laughs> I ran through that like through uh, summer of 2020 by like by the fall of 2020, I was out and I picked up the three fluid ounce and I also picked up the intense then. Um, I prefer, 
I prefer the original to the intense. However, um, I run through the three fluid ounce bottle. So I decided to uh, pick up the five fluid ounce bottle because I never want to be without this in my collection. I can't say enough great things about this. This is my signature scent, something that I would want to smell like year round. Like this is uh, also like a a no-brainer reach to me um i could wear this to brunch i could wear this to a date i could wear this um like going to the park going to the movies going to the office this is just like a no-brainer scent for me and it just smells so luxe so opulent and it lasts all day like this lasts for days and days and days on my clothes like i can um I will often like spray some of my um, jackets and like blazers with this in, in like the fall and winter time and this will still linger on my clothes the next time I go to pick it up. So this is just an amazing, beautiful floral fragrance. Um, let's, let's get into the, uh, the notes. So in the opening, we have lavender, mandarin orange, black currant, and petty green. In the heart, we have lavender, orange blossom, jasmine, and the base, we have vanilla, musk, ambergris, and cedar. And yes, this, the lavender in here, it gives it a little bit of a masculine touch. That's why I said it's a little bit but but not in a bad way like in a very good way in a very luxe way like how you know how like men's colognes are sometimes a bit um stronger and more present than um feminine fragrances uh that has that that small tiny touch of masculine lavender in there to just bring it more present and it's it's just beautiful it's blended so well in this and i can't say enough great things about lieb this is just so beautiful i love her and i will never be without her <laughs> so if um if you have any favorite floral fragrances or fragrances that you recommend let me know in the comment section and um we can talk about it i love chatting with you guys um i'm gonna try to answer all of the comments that i get on my channel so uh please feel free to um give me feedback and let me know how you're liking the videos also give the video a like and share it as well um we're we're small but we're gonna be growing and I would love to get to know you guys and let you guys know me. So um, yeah, thank you for watching my videos. Bye-bye.